Hi everyone and welcome back to RTKRC and TrottleStore.com uh, Today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, flaps and uh, something we call directly translated from Norwegian uh, dive rudder uh, to use with the flaps but anyway here's a little sequence about the flaps uh, basically designers face a certain problem with airplanes at high altitude during cruise flight you want to fly as fast as possible while when landing you want to fly as slow as possible therefore at high altitudes you need less wing area than at low altitude flight and the net result is that at low altitudes the wing area it is extended by the flaps and slats etc. Uh, prob uh, probably you uh, wonder about what is slats. Uh, slats is sort of flaps but they are on front of the wing on the leading edge. Uh, these are most common on jets and larger airplanes. Uh, <clears throat> the flaps they do not slow down the aircraft uh, or at least that is not the main intention that is done by the air brakes. Flaps generate lift and therefore they allow the pilot to flow slower. So I'm going to show you now how this all works, okay? Okay, lately I have been getting a lot of mails. Uh, mostly because of the EPO models that Trotto Store sells and about the flaps and how do they work. Uh, what are the meaning of flaps? Well, as I told you in the intro, uh, the flaps are meant to make you fly slower uh, before a landing. Uh, the flaps won't break down the speed of the plane, but it will allow you to have sort of uh, lower throttle and more air resistance to the wing so that the plane will hold the line even though it flies slower. Uh, flap settings are uh, individual settings. Uh, some, people's, uh, some people like to fly without the flaps and some people like to use them a lot. And lately during my test of the EPO models and uh, especially the Cessna 156 uh, this model comes with uh, a transmitter, a six channel transmitter, but the transmitter won't give you the same opportunities as, for instance, this Spectrum DX8, the Futaba or JR transmitters of the new sort. Uh, so when you hit the flap button, the flaps will go down very fast and your plane will go up. Uh, many people feel that, hey, I can't use the flap because the plane just bounces in the air. Okay, it will bounce and one of the things that I'm going to talk about is dive rudder. Uh, this is uh, directly translated from Norwegian. I'm not quite sure if it's the right pronouncement in English, but I will show you so you guys all will understand it. Um, dive rudder is used together with the flap. That means I will mix my elevator with the flap settings so that on landing, when I'm using the flaps for landing, I will also have a bit of elevator, uh, down elevator like this. Uh, this will make my plane go steady. Uh, that means when I'm using flaps, let's say this hand is my plane, and I'm using the flaps, the plane will go up. But when I mix it with the elevator, it will stay at the same height, and I can just lower my throttle, and I will be able to get the plane down with not so much correction on the elevator as without the dive rudder. I could show you this better with flying this plane on the airfield, but as you all know, it's winter outside, so uh, the temperature has been very hard on us lately, uh, 10 or 15 minus degrees outside, so I need to wait at least until it's under 6 minus, so 
uh, I, I'm not killing my servos or electrical system. Well, I'm going to show you on some close-ups uh, how the flaps works with the settings that I've done. Uh, what's great is that the Spectrum DX8 and I also know that Futaba and JR have the same settings is when I go into the flap settings I also have settings for the elevator. I can skip the elevator settings and just set my flaps and everything will be okay. But um, the funny thing is that this Twin Otter <coughs> is one of the most used short distance plane in Norway and most of you guys that know something about Norway you know that we have a lot of mountains and we have a lot of small places with small airports and therefore we need a plane that can uh, dive into the landing field and also get out of the landing field uh, fast enough so they don't hit the mountains well the Twin Otter is this plane uh, it has been used by a company called Widerö uh, this is though the American version, of course. They use a lot of flap during the landing and the flap uh, extensions on this one is huge. So I've tried to use flap without the dive rudder and that was almost impossible. I'm not that good at using flaps because <laughs> I mainly I, I just fly and land so but to get better reviews of the plane also better landings of course I'm going to study this flap system a bit and I'm also going to use it every time I fly just to get to know it better so the reviews and uh, and uh, answering your questions about it will be even better so uh, again I'm sorry for my English it's not that good but I try my best and hopefully most of you guys understand what I'm saying so let's go and check out the flaps uh, I will give you some close uh, uh, close looks at the flaps and my settings here on this uh, twin otter okay you guys what you see here is <clears throat> my transmitter, the DX8. I'm sorry about the noise in the background but I have some digital servos and they tend to make some noise. What I'm going to show you now is my setup on the transmitter. We go to the flap system. This uh, feature you will get when you choose flap on your wing setup when you're setting up your model at the first time. So. Here it is. As you can see in normal, that will, means the flaps is off. I have 18%, but that is just to center the flap so that it uh, it's correct with the rest of the wing. Uh, on half, I have 50, uh, minus 55%. Uh, that means I'm using this for takeoff uh, on short runways. On landing I have minus 105. This I only use for landing and the angle on this one is huge. It's much larger than on other planes but it's for the scale look on the Twin Otter. Also you can see on the sides uh, you see that here is the mixing. The mixing is already there so you don't have to know anything about mixing at all. On mid you can see that I only have 0%. That means I don't want to have any dive rudder on my takeoffs. On landing I have 35% dive rudder together with the flaps. That means that the elevator will go down together with the flap. Now I haven't been testing these settings yet but please do try these settings at high altitude so you don't crash your plane because I don't say that these are the correct settings, these are the settings that I'm using. 
Another feature that is great on the Spectrum is the speed. Because everybody knows that have bought the RTF versions of, for instance, the Cessna, that when you flip the flap switch, the plane will bounce. On this one, I can set the speed on the flaps, making it go down very slowly and also giving it the scale look, a great scale look. Okay, now we will check out the flaps and see how they work. As you can see, on the Twin Otter, the flaps are large and very wide. Together with great functioning ailerons. So, let's switch the flap on and we will start with mid position which I'm using for takeoff. This is the takeoff angle for the Twin Otter. And then we go back and we will switch for landing flaps. Then you can hear, you could hear some more noise. That was the elevator going down. Okay, and now I will show you together with the flap, if I just could get And here now you have the uh, elevator and you can see the flap in front. So I'm going to try to do all this at once. That was the takeoff flap. And here is the landing flap. And then you see it works together with the flap. Perfect mixing. So then we added some dive rudder. This is cool, isn't it? Okay, you guys. Now I try to explain a little bit about the flaps. If you have any question, you can send me some mail on YouTube or at articrc.com. Uh, anyway, uh, don't forget that we have the Facebook page up and running, and there will be a lot of contests uh, in the future. But mostly we are going to post the contest on the Facebook channel so if you want to win some products, planes or whatever, check out the Facebook page and press like.